Hello. Uh, what you've just been listening to is the uh, the soundtrack to the Sega CD version of Eye of the Beholder, which bafflingly has a techno soundtrack composed by Yuzo Koshiro, which is just bonkers. This does not match this game at all, and I love it. But uh, we're going to be playing the DOS version here <clears throat> of Eye of the Beholder, classic first-person dungeon crawler, if I can get it uh, fired up here. This was free on GOG like a few weeks ago, so I picked it up. Uh, hold on. Oh, nope. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. There it is. Okay. Get it placed properly. And I've never played this before. Uh, the closest thing I've played is uh, like Dungeon Master 2. Uh, and this game is obviously uh, very inspired by the original Dungeon Master, which came out a few years beforehand. But it uses the D&D license. <clears throat> so here we've got the lore here. We the Lords of Water, they, uh, we <laughs> give call of the heroes of the land and let us choose among them. Master. They think they have found a solution. So the Lords of Water Deep have, uh, you know, summoned some heroes to solve a problem. Classic D&D. &D. We commissioned you to find the nature of this evil and destroy it if you are able. Prepare for the dangerous journey. Man, this cinematic. It's good stuff. Begin your search below the city. We have them. Oh no! We're trapped in the sewers. Their fate is sealed. All right, here we go. Uh, we're gonna make a party. Um, okay, so I have the uh, like the the PDF of the booklet handy. I don't think the races really matter, other than the fact that they uh, they limit that the the classes are are limited by by race. So I guess I should think about what classes I want to have. This is based on D&D, uh, like AD&D, like second edition or whatever. Let's see if I can uh, get this organized here. So we got fighters, we got mages, we got paladins, we got rangers. And thieves, okay, yeah. And then there's some like dual classes uh, therein. So, I mean, obviously we'll want to just have like a mage and a like a cleric in the back row. But who should our front line be? That's the question. Humans can be basically anything, I think. Okay, they can only have single classes though. So we could have a paladin. Paladin's kind of like a fighter cleric, I guess. I assume your your sex doesn't matter. No. Elves could be. You could have like a fighter thief thing going on. That could be cool. Cause it seems like having just like a a plain thief seems kind of bad. Cause it seems like all the 
they do that's special is that they're good at picking locks. Um, like you're not going to be sneaking in uh, in this game. Got half elves, which can do all kinds of stuff. Ooh, cleric mage. So maybe like a <clears throat> like a fighter thief, and then. Um, So I feel like it'll be good to have someone with some thief skills to like pick locks and stuff. And then we could do like a ranger. Rangers are cool because they like they like dual wield, I guess. It seems like that's their thing. Though really in these games you're really limited in like how fast you can click. Uh like on the different actions. Like you don't want to overload yourself with too many, you know, you probably wouldn't have want to have like a party of just rangers because you wouldn't be able to click everything fast enough. But if our back row is mostly just casting spells occasionally, we'll probably have the uh, the time to, uh, to click, you know, three melee attacks instead of just two. I feel like the alternative to like a a ranger would be like a uh, paladin, but like, who wants to have a paladin on the team, right? So, uh, fighter thief, that seems good. I have not done any research on like what's actually good in this game, so we're gonna we're gonna role play this, sort of. So we could have a dwarf fighter thief. That's fun. A uh, gnome fighter thief. So the races also like give you like a um, like a stat bonus, but we're just gonna be like rerolling and like setting stats manually anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So maybe a uh, let's have a female dwarf. Oops, as our fighter thief. I also. Like, I have a hard time imagining alignment really matters. Like, I think there's lim things are limited, like, you, you have to be all good if you're going to have a paladin on the team or something. Maybe there's certain NPCs that uh, act differently, but I'll be good. Gotta have a chaotic good thief. Okay, so it seems like the only thing that sex does is it like determines what uh, image you can have. She looks cool. So as a fighter thief, we need strength, dex, and con, right? So I can just like roll this forever, but it gives you the option to just type them in, which is pretty cool. Because, like, if you're just going to roll until you get 18 strength, 18 dex anyway, you might as well just, you know, save yourself the trouble. Maybe a dwarf is bad because they can only have 17 dex. Uh, modify. If we delete her and instead switch to, like... A human. No, no, not a human. An elf. So, like, they can have really high strength. They can have 19 decks. Yeah, we'll max her out. Like, I'm not gonna, like, cheat. Because it seems like if you are rolling, 18 is the max. You're never gonna get a, uh. Oh! Okay, you can roll like an absurd, <laughs> an absurd strength. <laughs> okay, I feel like I don't want to like. How much do I actually want to cheat? And just like set my stats super high. I don't know what's like reasonable. Probably doesn't matter that much to be honest. Uh, so like, okay, so the percentage on strength. It sort of explains it. Uh, da, 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 da. 
uh, fighter type character can have exceptional strength greater than 18. Exceptional strength is indicated by a percent value following the base strength. So I assume you want a higher percentage? Very unclear to me. It also seems to be extremely rare to actually get an 18 on. Seems like getting the exceptional strength seems a little absurd. I'll just like set strength to 18, dex to 19, a reasonable con, and then we'll just like lower everything else. We're gonna have a very good, a good team, but not like a totally broken team. This seems reasonable. Oh god, I have to name these characters. Crap. This is gonna be the worst part. <clears throat> uh, what's a good name for a thief? A fighter thief. Um, uh, d -d Stazzed? Sedazzed. Sedast. That's a good D&D &D name. Okay, so that's our fighter thief. Uh, now a ranger. Can dwarves be rangers? Who can be a ranger? Half elves can be rangers. Humans can be rangers, elves can be rangers. Uh, I mean, really, what's the point of being a human? Does that matter? Do they get any bonuses? <clears throat> Humans are the most adaptable and hence the most prevalent race. Blah, blah, blah. Level restrictions. Like, why would you ever be a human when you could be a half elf? Sure, we'll be a half elf. We'll be a half elf dude, ranger, neutral gun. I think there's like totally different styles. This guy seems like a ranger. Yeah, whatever, modify. Uh, we want to have high strength, high dex. Uh, do rangers need anything else? Luckily, the the book says they're they're prime requisites. Strength, Dex, and Wisdom. I'll give him 16 Wisdom, that seems reasonable. Then, I wonder if I need Charisma. Probably not. Uh, what's this guy's name? Uh, Vickle. Oh, that wasn't you? Uh, uh all right. <laughs> Wickle. <laughs> so, who's our mage gonna be? Uh, a gnome? Gnomes are fun. We'll have a male gnome. Oh, they can't. What? They can't be mages? That's weird. Only elves and half elves and humans be mages? That's pretty lame. Uh, 
uh, is there any disadvantage to being an elf? Elves get a uh, bonus to archery. Oh, maybe my uh, maybe my ranger should be an elf. Because they get plus ones to uh, long and short swords. Yeah, I'm going to do that. All right, Ukul. We're going to... Okay, okay, whatever. I don't care. I'm going to redo you. Because this really matters. Elf Ranger. Okay, now we have our mage, who, uh, I mean, it's so weird that gnomes can't be mages, because they get a plus one to intelligence, and only mages care about intelligence, I think. Weird. We'll have a, uh, we'll have a female mage. It can be chaotic. you pretty much only care about intelligence, right? Yep. So you don't need strength. Max int. You don't need wisdom. A little bit of dex, a little bit of con. What's your name going to be? What, what does hammering the keyboard uh, tell me about you? Oh, heck. Zatris. And a cleric. Who could be a good cleric? Clerics need wisdom. They can be humans, dwarves, elves, gnomes, half elves, or halflings. Maybe a dwarf cleric. Uh, lawful good, sure. I like this kind of dumpy looking person. <laughs> You don't really need strength. You don't need int. You do need whiz. A little bit of dex, a little bit of con. Maybe some charisma. Seems reasonable, right? Okay. What's your name? Jar. Okay. All right, we got Sadast, we got Vickle, we got Zatras, and Jar. All right, here we are. Uh, first things first, we're going to save the game. Okay, and there's this program called All Seeing Eye, which is pretty cool. It will live map the game as you explore. Oh, 
Hmm, character's not. Interesting. Clear explored maps. Search. Oh no! It's not finding my characters. It was working just fine when I was testing it. So this is good. This is very good. Uh, once again, we'll just save the game just in case. I'll just try quitting and starting from scratch here. Bear with me. Playing old games with uh, third party enhancements. Hello, game in progress. Up the program search. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Let's try something else here. Launching the game directly for um, all seeing eye. Load the game. Interesting. Uh, we'll be right back.
Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> I need to just set it just to use the uh, the GOG cloud saves folder rather than the uh, the default folder. Get the game window back in action here. Okay, here we go. We are here. We're in the game. We got our little mapper. <clears throat> We're playing. So the only problem with the uh, the mapping tool is that it seems like it doesn't uh, save your map uh, after you quit the game. So hopefully I'll be able to kind of play through this <clears throat> floor at a time and not have to stop uh, mid-floor and uh, figure out where I am there. So, all right, we're here. Uh, this is obviously a, a first-person sort of uh, Dungeon Master type game. You're on a grid. Uh, you can click and interact with things. Uh, you can put stuff in your character's hands. You can attack with weapons. Apparently, the you use daggers by throwing them. You can look at your stats. Uh, what do we got here? We got lock picks. Can I like? I guess I'll put those on my belt. Rations. We got a letter. How do I look at this letter? Can I actually examine items? Not clear how. Maybe I like put it in my hand and use it. Yes. Okay. Commission letter of Mark. This document is a binding commission of service to the Lords and Sovereign City of Waterdeep. The bearers of this document are agents of the Lords of Waterdeep and are granted full rights of passage beneath the City of Waterdeep. Any who would dare interfere risk the full penalty of our wrath. Information has been presented to us that there is a plot afoot in our city. Evidence points to the sewers that run beneath Waterdeep. We have no information about the exact nature of the threat, but we feel the urgency is grave. We commission you to find the nature of the, the danger and to destroy it if you are able. You are granted full rights of mark. All treasures, artifacts, or other valuables are yours by right of conquest. This writ is made legal and binding by our mark on the fifth day of Marpanoth in the Year of Shadows. Cool. Can I use boots? <laughs> This item is automatically used when worn. Very good. So you can't, like, examine items, which is interesting. You just kind of got to know what's good, I guess. Okay, so we got Sadast with uh, her short sword. We got Vickle with his short sword and dagger, which he throws. Zatras with her dagger and her spellbook. And Jar with her holy symbol and her mace. She ain't gonna use that mace. Might as well give that to Vickle. Maybe she'll throw that dagger eventually, but... You can't use uh, melee attacks from the back row. So it's kind of pointless to give her a, uh, a melee weapon. Oh, he can't use the mace. Interesting. Alright, well, we'll give that back, I guess. Like, if I try to use it, it just says can't reach. Okay. Got to arrange my keyboard here that I can use the, the keypad to move around. Just clicking on these things is kind of cumbersome. Uh, sure, we'll take the rocks. Might need to throw these later. So we're here in the sewers. Uh, ooh. We have one door, I guess. We have a skeleton. More lockpicks. Take those. Halfling bones. Something scurries deeper into the floor drain. So unlike Dungeon Master, fortunately you don't hurt yourself when you bump into walls. That's such a dumb part of that game. Or at least Dungeon Master 2. I haven't actually really played the first one. So, uh... Let's go. Oh, oh, we got... We got a... Something. It's dead now. 
I should probably, I should probably save a lot, right? Just to be safe. And we've got a door here with a button. We also have a door here with a button. But you can try and pry doors open. It's interesting. I wonder if these do anything. It's just a normal. There is a drainage grate here. I wonder what this button does. See something back there. Let's go! Throw your daggers! Throw your rocks! These guys are not very strong. Ouch. I guess I should be like backing up and dodging and stuff. Okay, so. You can put things on your belt and like you'll you'll grab them. So you can have like multiple daggers on your belt and throw them uh, in sequence. Mage scroll of detect Oh I gotta like I gotta prepare magic. I gotta prepare spells. What is what am I thinking here? Uh Memorize spells. Okay. Uh Zatris, you got two spells. Two level one spells. I mean, I feel like Magic Missile is probably the only useful one, right? And then level one, or level two spells. Good old M's Acid Arrow. So memorize those. Got four Priest spells. Maybe one cause Light Wounds, the rest Cure. Seems good. Flame blade. Old person. Does the manual have spell descriptions? Oh, it does. Good. <clears throat> so flame blade, short range, so I can't actually use it. Uh... For comparison, magic missiles long range, yeah. So I guess hold person would be the thing to get, right? It's always a pretty good spell. What's A do? Acts like a blessed spell and uh, gives temporary HP. Uh, we'll take a slow poison just in case, and otherwise do hold person. That seems good. Party needs to rest or regain spells. Makes sense. Uh, we are limited on food, though, so maybe I'll wait until I actually need them. Speaking of food... Sweet rations. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, it's a pressure plate. Seems like there's nothing else in here. This game needs a quick save button. <clears throat> Yes, yes, I must rest. Oh, what do we got? I saw it. Did it hit? Oh, boy. Oh, no, I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> Come on. Come along. Okay, we killed it. They die, like, they disappear so fast, it's hard to tell that you actually hit them. Got him. I should, like, I wonder if I can, uh, 
click on the enemies and see what they're supposed to be. Uh, looks like I can't get through here yet. Oh, we got more kobolds. These are kobolds, right? Super aggressive. Oh god, you really gotta be accurate. Not super aggressive, which is nice. Anybody in there? Slimy, smelly drain pipe reveals nothing. Put a rock in it. Pressure plates. Better save before touching those. Okay. Looks like we're going to need. Oh, that's weird. Well, I'm going to need that rock. Where did I, where did I toss the rock? <laughs> Where did I put it? Okay. Aha! Classic dungeon master. Hey, Jar gained a level for some reason. Guess we can see if she can pray for more spells. Yes. Uh, I'll do a bless. Add another hold person. Oh, there we've come. Uh, Round in a big old circle. That's nice. So this is why, like, you need to have an auto mapper or actually draw your own map, because otherwise, there's you would immediately lose a uh, sense of direction in this place. Everything looks the same. It's big. I'm around, okay. Yeah, punch him. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's a leech. There is a, like a bestiary in the uh, the manual. I wonder what these guys are. Okay, apparently the leeches aren't important enough. Oh, yeah, yeah, they are giant. They're just giant leeches. <laughs> That's all. Ooh, an arrow. Oh wait. Okay. Can't, can't push it from afar. Interesting. Well, we'll come back to that later. And that looks like the ladder to the next story, so we want to finish exploring this first anyway. Oh, a shield!
guess she won't need the uh, the daggers anymore. Give them all to our boy Vickel. Maybe Zatras. So this is uh, another shortcut, I guess. Cool. Nothing over here. Let's go north. Save the game. How am I doing for like food? Everyone seems pretty good. I'm really hesitant to rest and gain spells because I don't know how limited food is in this game. Huh, just a dead end back here, I guess. Don't see any like secret buttons or anything. All right, uh, so we got that kind of northeast corner that we haven't checked out. And down here as well. It is annoying to have to re-equip these daggers every time. We got more kobolds. Ah, can't click the portrait. Hello, Mage Scroll of Armor, Cleric Scroll of Bless. Those don't seem very useful since I already have those spells. I really need to bless sometime. All right, uh, northeast corner then. And hopefully not trap myself. Be trapped. Ouch, one damage. I'm going to have so many daggers by the end of this. Oh, come on, she can't use a dagger? Oh, I guess she's a, a cleric. And old school clerics can't uh, can't draw blood. You can only bash things to death. Yeah, well, we got some food in here. That's good. Uh, I guess that's the whole floor, huh? I might need a rock for this puzzle. Oh, there's something over here. Oh ho! We have a dart! Ceiling's different there, like the yeah, it's a like a drain. 
Oh, nothing else back here then. I think I need that rock actually. Ha <laughs> Save the game. On the page of the symbol, find line three. Oh, I think I just enter anything. Yes. Thank you, Gog. Old school uh, copy protection. Okay, we got three doors and one key. Oh, <laughs> I hope I picked. I hope I chose wisely. Uh, maybe I'll. So you can do a uh, a backup save using the mapping tool, which is pretty cool. So we'll do a backup save there. And then make a new in-game save here. Straight ahead. So I assume that'll drop me down. I assume that'll kill me, actually, because I'm going deeper into the dungeon, right? Oh-ho! Watch your step. Okay, well. Oh, interesting. Seems like that's the only way to go. Guess we have to go down. Oh, it's still, it's part of the same floor. I see, I see. It's really more of a teleporter. Potion of healing. Sounds useful. Uh, is there anything to do down here? I guess this is where you go when you fall, huh? Interesting. Oh, I wonder if I have to throw something onto that button. Well, good thing I'm well stocked on daggers. Ho ho! Classic dungeon master. This game is very quiet. I can see why they uh, maybe overcompensated with the uh, Sega CD version. Let's so leave that there just in case. Movements inside this floor drain. Aha. Swaps the position. Oh, we're looking pretty good on food. Okay. More food. Okay, we can use that key, I guess. Yeah, I guess I picked the wrong door and uh, 
Just let me to another key. I suppose that's fine. Save the game. I don't need to rest. Who needs magic? Only the strong shall pass. Okay. I'm pretty strong. Party forces the door. Sadast gained a level. Oh, okay, we can force that door, I guess. What? Oh. Apparently you can just turn on dead just sort of happens. Okay, uh, step back. That was scary. Neat! I was not expecting that. I thought he was casting spells on me. That's pretty cool, actually. Okay, what do we got here? An unidentified potion. That seems safe. When do I get my identify spell? What an odd carving to place here. Solved the puzzle. I solved the dagger puzzle. There's a room with a button. I'm sure nothing bad will happen when I push it. Zombie? We got a zombie going on? Yes, turn the undead! Oh, he didn't take much. Clerics are cool. Ah, infinite retries on uh, forcing the door. I don't know what that sound was. Makes me nervous. Potion of giant strength, ooh. And the third silver key. Apparently I picked the two non-critical paths. Uh, yep, okay. Not all is as it appears. Oh no. Well, I'm glad I have the map. <laughs> so, I walk forwards onto this plat this square, and it flips me to the left. Yeah, oh god, I am. You know, I like these games, these kinds of games, but when they do puzzles like this, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, a sling seems like a good thing for a cleric to have, though she can't cast spells when she's wearing the sling. That's weird. Huh. This looks like a travel marker. Don't know what that means. Oh. 
We just walk right through it. Shield scroll. Oh, we got some got some zombers. No problem. I wonder if the dart's actually better than the the dagger. So what is that one trying to tell me? What am I supposed to attack? Oh, that's the that's where I've already been. The dagger fits. Okay. So I put the dagger in there. What did that do? Maybe it opened up a door somewhere else? Hmm. Maybe I need to go elsewhere. Sure, it's all fine. So I guess you could tell what happens here pretty easily by looking at your compass. And just sort of looking around, but it's still <laughs> very disorienting. Oh god, more teleporters. I really don't regret having the map here to, uh, to sort of cheat my way through these. Wait, is there a... there is a rune. A travel marker. Okay, so you can just walk through here to avoid the teleporters. I guess that's just the sound of experience. Vickel gained a level. Another silver key. Some arrows. Not sure if I'll ever have someone who can actually use arrows. Man, look at all this food I have. Good thing someone left all this food down in the sewers. Is there nothing down here? Interesting. I guess we got the silver key. I'm not sure where I need to put the silver key. Probably down this way, right? Oh, wait, no. Down this way. Hmm. I'm gonna save before I mess with that. A hollow laughter echoes faintly. Uh. Don't know why. Did I get trapped or something? A whispering voice says illusion, solid illusion. What? Oh. Uh. 
Am I trapped? Oh, nope. No, I'm not. Okay. What? What happened? <laughs> so, I took the rock off the platform, I guess. Do I need to put a dagger there? Guess I'll just keep this rock on hand. What if I uh, what have I not explored yet? <laughs> like I have a key, but nowhere to put it. I guess I haven't gone this way yet, huh? Stone dagger looks magical. So I wonder if I just equip an item, will that uh, identify it? Let's find out. Item is not used in this way. Oh, it's like a key, maybe. I wonder if it goes in one of those uh, dagger shaped holes. that one, right? Okay. <laughs> Regular dagger works, I guess. Ooh, extra healing. Am I going to get trapped in here by taking this? I don't know. What does the button do? Weird. Gotta give Vickle some daggers back. Well, at least this looks like a teleporter. around here first before walking into that. Entry level. Uh, the room seems to move. This is like an elevator? Oh, weird. Hello. Yes, turn undead. Boom. What? Where'd you come from? Dodge. We're good. Uh, what else we got here? Just a lot of doors. A lot of doors with buttons. I guess they all got zombies behind them, huh? Guess we'll just do it one at a time. It. 
I guess these are skeletons rather than zombies. Probably should have brought that in with us. Don't know why you would go on an adventure without taking a helmet along. the skeleton. Ow. Oh, nope. Okay, we got it. Can he use the axe? Nope. She can, though. Look, okay, that's good. She, she got the axe. He's got devil swords now. Do I really need more daggers? Can she even use a bow? Nah. I don't think I'm gonna get any use out of this bow, to be honest. Helmets. I assume. No, she can wear it just fine. Okay. So, what was in that one? I guess everybody can just wear a helmet? Good. Nobody wants a traumatic brain injury. scroll of invisibility that's interesting can they learn spells uh, from these scrolls or are they just uh, like one use spells scribe scrolls I'm gonna save the game here see if I can do that So now, yeah, now she has that uh, spell available. That's cool. I guess we'll scribe armor as well. So it appears that there's no fail chance, which is like very nice. <laughs> That's the wrong thing. Uh, like why they insisted on putting that in Baldur's Gate, uh, I'll never know. This game is uh, surprisingly forward thinking for 91. Vickle's getting a little low on HP, so maybe we'll want to rest after a while. Okay, so that just brought me back to this, like, lower area down here. Weird. So I guess we can take the elevator back. 
This is a, a different stop on the elevator, okay. Force the door. Got some zombies. Good number of zombies. Very tall zombies. Look at this guy. His head's scraping the ceiling. <laughs> so, this is a funny thing about this game, is that you can move faster than, like, a thrown item moves. So if you throw it and immediately walk forward, you will uh, hit yourself on the back of the head. <laughs> Which is pretty good. Secrets here, but we got a gold key, which I'm sure is important. All right, well, back, back to the start here. Let's do a quick save. Guess that needs a silver key. What's over here? There's a bunch to explore. There's the whole maze back here. Probably the gold key then? Yeah, I forgot about the teleporter. Rats. R-A-T-S? Hmm. I guess there's just a little bit of fast travel around here. This room. Aha. I guess that's the way to the next level, but we got more exploring to do. A lot of dead ends in this section. Just seems like a big old empty labyrinth. the door. Aha. I knew I kept that rock for something. This seems safe.
Okay, this, they split up a little bit. Must have been a good turn undead. Come on. Okay, that's fine. Oh, what did that do? Oh, open that one. Okay. Changes up the labyrinth. I guess I'll leave it like that. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, that just opened the door. So if I changed the button, it would have closed this off. But opened up some other ways. More food. and crannies to explore. Hello. That's explored most of the, uh, the kind of labyrinth area. Okay, so let's uh, let's go to that last uh, locked door. Oh wait. Leather boots. I guess he doesn't have any boots. I guess that's it. On to the next. I like those teleporters were just there to make the level more confusing. I, think. I guess it, cause it doesn't even. I guess it gets you from sort of one corner to the next, but if you needed to backtrack for some reason. Maybe I should rest and regain spells just because uh, I can. Okay, one more uh, mage spell. 
I have a scroll of detect magic, right? So I don't really need that. In the unlikely event that I actually need to detect some magic. Does armor protect the whole party or just the caster? Let's see. a specific character. Eh. Yeah, we'll just stick with magic missile. Why not? Visibility seems potentially useful. And then uh pray for spells. Seems good. Seems good. Rest. Sure. Oh, so I'm like resting and healing. That was a long rest. But actually, we're not that hungry after that? Hi, I must, uh... I wonder how many steps an hour is. It must be fewer than I would think. But yeah, we are on to uh, the third floor. Feeling good. Maybe I'll cast a spell for once. What am I hearing? different uh, ambient tones. Nope, you feel dizzy, of course. Another uh, rotating square. At least it warns you. And something like wizardry, it would just turn you around and say nothing. You feel dizzy. Whoa, who are you? Magic missile! Oh, wow, look at the little particle effect. That's pretty cool. Surely an axe is better than a mace. So now I gotta look up and see uh, what kind of. What, what monster was that? Well, I think that was a fiend. This humanoid creature vaguely resembles a heavily muscled human with a canine head. Fiends are of average intelligence and can be found both above ground and in caverns. Gotta know your D&D &D species. Who, who is this? Who's this guy? Uh, that appears to be a... Kuotoa. This is an ancient race of fishmen that now dwell in subterranean caverns. The Kuotoa harbor an age-old hatred for surface dwellers and their sunlit world. These creatures have a vaguely human body topped with a wide-mouthed fish head. They have short, -legged, short legs and long three-fingered hands. Kuotoa wear no clothing, only a leather harness for their weapons and few belongings. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, excuse me. What? I don't know what he did. Okay. But I didn't like it. The monsters are getting bigger and scarier as we continue on. Okay, 
almost a dead end back here. Interesting. Guess we got some keys back there. Teleporter. Teleporter. <laughs> Wait, what? Huh. That was weird. I don't know if I like was pushing the wrong button there or what. Cleric scroll of cause light wounds. Hello. Hello, Mr. Fishman. Ow. Why does he shoot lasers? They do drop food. Am I just eating the fishmen? Is that what's happening here? We got three locks. I have two keys. I'm assuming I need to. What? What? Excuse me? Was that just the summon fish button? Well, it gave me a, another key. Weird. Okay, blue button. Oh, okay. Okay, so I guess I just, uh, I was going to get a key back. So I'm assuming if I if I put a key in here, it'll summon another monster who will drop a key to replace it. We'll check it out. Yeah, it's another red button. Summon fish. was right. But, got some food out of the deal. Pretty, uh, pretty messed up to eat the intelligent humanoid fishmen. Hello. Oh! I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> uh, oh god. I think this is fine. It didn't hurt me too bad. Um, just a scary spider layer. Nothing. Nothing to be worried about here. Hmm. Can't pry the door open. I don't like the creaking sound. Dwarven key. That seems important. Okay. I'm sure I was just supposed to fall down that hole. As 
So like, I didn't really make a mistake there. Spider. What's this? A ring? Surely not a cursed ring. Uh, okay, everyone's pretty good on food still. Save the game and then uh, put on that ring, I guess. Well, I can take it off. I'm sure it's a good thing, right? Big old dead end over there. I just like carrying around a rock. It's uh, sort of a comfort thing. I love it like loops around. Weird. What? Magic missile. I do love those a uh, little effect that it does. Jar has gained a level. I ah, didn't take too much damage there. Uh, so she can probably pray for more spells. I'll do aid, sure. Oh, level three spells. Create food seems unnecessary. Dispel magic, magical vestment, prayer, and remove paralysis. What do these do? Third level cleric. Create food and water, yeah, obviously. Dispel magic. Negate the spell, effects of any spell affecting the party. Seems good. Magical Vestment gives you magical armor. Prayer. More powerful version of the first of all Bless spell. Increases the party's combat ability. Eh. And remove Paralysis. We'll just do some, uh, some protective spells here. Remove Paralysis and Dispel Magic. Okay. So many spiders. Content warning for spiders. Ouch. Oh, what happened? Why is she grayed out? Is she paralyzed? Oh, she's poisoned. Um, second level. Oh, that was the wrong. I clicked the wrong button. That's fine. Slow poison on her. Magic? Okay, we didn't have to magic missile. <laughs> uh, okay. So we, oh, she's unconscious. That's not good. How do we reconscious her? Probably like a cure light wounds or something. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I threw a dart and ran into it with her. 
Okay, cure light wounds. Oops. Cure light wounds. There we go, okay. Feeling good. Uh, is she still poisoned? Okay, we've slowed the poison. Uh, how do we cure it? I'm gonna have this green potion, which might be an antidote. I guess I'll do like a backup save. And uh, explore a little further than be rest. Stone scepter. I guess that goes along with a stone dagger. Get my comfort rock. I hear spiders. Another ring. We'll just put it on. If we can take it off, it must be good, right? Let me guess save the game since I have a backup. Another big old dead end. Well, I guess there was like a ring back there. I see that spider. Easy peasy. There's just so many of them. these plates that don't seem to do anything. But that's the dwarf key. More spiders. It's kind of interesting the way the uh, the game kind of freezes while uh, enemies attack you or spells get cast. We're getting hungry. Maybe I should eat some food. Uh, regular rations.
Very good. Okay, I'm guessing walking on the plate will close the door behind me, which doesn't sound like something I want to experience. But I'm sure if I like just tossed a dagger on it and then opened it, it, it would be fine. So I wonder how I get in that uh, like middle section kind of to my west. Because I don't see a way to get in there. Unless there's a teleporter or something. Oh, there's a spider. Oh, wrong. The wrong area. Ah, you really gotta be accurate. back here. Another mace. Who needs it? It's a lot of dead ends. Mace. I wonder if there's any uh, significance to that. Uh, I should really like look around before I <laughs> interact with things. Hmm. We'll leave that as is for now. Oh, found a dwarven key. Whatever. Oh. Oh. As you walk forward, the, uh, the chamber moves with you. Weird. What a strange, like, effect. Oh, wow. This game, this game has NPCs. An injured dwarf lies on the ground before you, nearly unconscious from his wounds. Let's talk. The dwarf gasps out, Drow! Save the king! Prince is God! Tend his wounds. Having regained his strength, the dwarf thanks you. I thought that I had met my death at the blade of that drow. In battle, our king was grievously wounded, and the young prince kidnapped. I tried to stop the drow, but alas, was overcome. You have saved me from death. I wish there was some way to thank you, but I have nothing. I am alone, separated from my people during the battle for... During the battle. May I join you so that together we can search for my people? Okay. As Tagger joins your party, he says, During the battle, I chased my enemy up a staircase to this level. My people should be on the level just below us. Okay, we got, we got our boy Tagger. This is a stairway up. Okay. Ooh, chain mail. Uh, we'll put that on someone who can actually use it. So what's his deal? Neutral good fighter. Pretty good stats. Dwarf helmet. I, mean, I could like stick him in the front, but like it seems kind of pointless. He'll just sit in the back, and uh, if something attacks me from behind, it'll hit him rather than uh, the rest of the party. Should probably heal him up though. So do we finish exploring this floor, or head back up? Uh, 
Yeah, let's go up. We gotta like we gotta do floor three before we do floor floor four. <laughs> Ooh, a shield. You can take that. Chain mail. I assume uh, she cannot wear that type of armor. Uh, can Tagger use a bow? Yes, he can. Well, you're an archer now, Mr. Dwarf. Congratulations. So, yeah, she had all my arrows. What a few arrows I had. Uh, does he have, like, any decks? Eh, it's 15. He's good. Some iron rations. Oh, boy. The good, the good shit. Oh, interesting. Like, this is, a. Uh, this is not actually back to the, uh... To level three. This is just like a little area in between. I guess I could rest here. Tiger needs some uh, some heals. Seems like a good time to rest. So we'll save and then rest. No, oh, poison party members will die. Uh, no. So, what if she just drinks this potion? You may only eat food. What if she uses this potion? It's a potion that makes you not hungry anymore. Well, what does this potion do? This is the potion of giant strength, and then healing. But healing won't cure the poison. How do I cure poison? What the heck? It's like I only have the spell to slow poison and I can't even regain spells because uh, if I rest she'll die. Well, uh, I assume we'll find something to, uh, to fix the issue. Ah, oh, this is the way into here. Okay. Uh, oop, 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 oop. Oh, what, what, why, why is there a spider? Where did the spider come from? How? Oh, there's more to this area. Oh, God. What a disaster. I'm just going to load. <laughs> she got hit real hard. We go down. Oh, weird. And hitting the button. Oh, yeah, brings the spider out. Okay. We're good now. Oh, a bunch more food. That's something I'm happy to see. But this doesn't actually get me anywhere new. Back down. There's plenty more to explore over here, I think. A weird hallway. Like, why is that even? Like, why not just make it a real hallway? <laughs> I guess you could only go one direction around it. 
Something's really pointless though. Like it could just as easily be around hallway. Hello. Hmm. Access control lever. up here. Just a dead end. Oh, dwarven key. Medallion must not be cursed. Is that brought down the uh, other hole? Yeah, oh, there's one more though. Oh, but there's a pressure plate. Uh, can we toss something over there? If only I had a rock. I feel like a dagger's gonna fly too far. Oh, I hit myself in the back. Sorry, tagger. Yep. Hmm. Well, there are more areas to explore, so we'll go there first, I guess. Oh. Aha! Mystery solved. Yep. Huh. Okay. Oh, hello. There is evil that lies beyond this room. Okay. Luckily for me, I don't know how to get into that room. Potion of cure poison? Well, don't mind if I do. Ah, Sadast feels better. All right, so don't get poisoned, because I only have one more of these. <laughs> Oof. Okay, I got uh, three more of these. Good thing I had that slow poison spell. Okay, now we can rest, right? <clears throat> We will save. And rest. And heal. A 
Long rest. Maybe we should have eaten beforehand. Are we going to starve to death here? No, we're feeling pretty good. Tagger's a little... A little pecked, but... Uh, we're good. Alright, feeling good, feeling good. Be nice if I could identify some of this stuff that I found, like these rings. I could cheat and use the uh, the mapping tool to do that, and that's another one of its functions, but I would like to limit the cheating as much as reasonable. Oracle of Knowledge. Oh. Eh? Identify my rings. Oracle of Knowledge. <laughs> Am I misunderstanding? I mean, it's an empty room with a thing that was empty. I'm gonna look this up. I have the Beholder Oracle of Knowledge. Oh, I guess I have to put something there much later on. Okay. I was hoping this is a magic identification room, but I guess not. Um, hmm. So I guess... I'm looking for things to stick in here, right? Well, surely, like, the stone dagger goes in this slot, right? Stone scepter. What? What? Excuse me? <laughs> I'm assuming I'm looking for like seven stone artifacts, right? But I can't slot them in yet. Maybe it has to be done in order. Weird. Got a dwarven key here. Hmm. Oh, hey, it's a spider. What a surprise. Oh, dang it. Well, good. I hope I just saved recently. Because I ain't dealing with poison right now. Yep, we're good. Save the game. Oh, I should put my shield back on, huh? Boop. Potion of healing. Looking good. There's multiple ways into the same little central chamber there, I guess. I like opening doors. Door key. 
Long hallway. Secret walls. Yeah, there's a lot of empty rooms here. room. Could it be? Oh, that one has a switch. Oh, probably good that I hit that. I would not, I definitely would not have noticed this if it weren't for the, uh, the map. Jeez. I hope this isn't, like, required. Ooh. Dwarven shield. Emergency exit. What does that mean? Telling me to jump down the hole? I don't want to go down the hole though. I want to, I want to go back to the third floor because I fell down a hole accidentally and I never finished exploring that. How was I supposed to get down here? So I'll just leave that hole on the map. This is like the whole floor though, right? I expected the uh the rock to prevent that from happening. Hmm. Anything I'm missing on the map here? Not really. Unless some of these like walls that I never looked at super closely are uh hallways, but I don't think so. Oh god, why why are there spiders? Oh, that was nice. Ah. Respawning enemies. No thank you. Ah, oh, we're poisoned. I gotta, I gotta load the game. Ah. Uh. And this is like, uh, that's kind of annoying that the, uh, the map doesn't reset when you load. Well, fortunately, uh, the only place that mattered here... Hit the switch. I don't know what it did. Oh! Hello. Maybe I must open this up. So that's the way down. We also have the quote-unquote emergency exit. Huh, how do I get back up to the third level? That's really weird. I might have to just peek at the full map here. Just because I want to know. Uh, peak level. 
Z. Well, how do I how do I unpeak? <laughs> Okay, it's just like timed. Is there no way back up? I only see these as the up upstairs. What? Oh, maybe this? So there's a passage here. That's really confusing. Huh. Uh, I guess I'll go around that way. It's going down. It's not what I want yet. Save here. Probably have to fight my way through some spiders again, but that's okay. Now that I'm prepared for it. Ah! Oh god, the stupid poison! hit them. Okay, we'll just run. Make a run for it. I'm lucky. Ah, uh, potions of cure poison. Okay, that's something. Is that all this back here? Back in a corner here. Peek at the map. Yeah. Huh. Well, okay. Spiders. So I guess uh, do I just go down to the next? I want to go up one of those uh, upstairs and see if there's a way back to the level three. I really feel like I must have missed something there. Oh my god, there's so many spiders here. Shoot. Please die. Okay. So I gotta go... Go down this way. Oh crap, it's gonna close the door. How do I get back there? I must have to go all the way around. How do I get back there? Oh boy. Special quest for this level. What? Don't know what that means. <laughs> well, 
What did pulling that do? Uh, what did pulling that do? Doesn't change anything on the map. missing like important items how do I get back upstairs <laughs> where did I find Tagor hmm Totally forgotten how I, how I found. Oh right, obviously. This. Wait. Well, I need to pull the thing, and then this thing turns back on. Okay. That's where we found him. Now we're back up here. Oops. And I can satisfy my curiosity by looking at the third floor map. Seeing if there's any way to get back out. Because I did like nothing here. This floor is huge. I guess, though, if I look at where I was, yeah, I could have explored the whole area. But there is no. Stairway down. Like, the only way down is to fall into a hole. It must be like a teleporter back up. That's the only thing that makes sense. Yeah, so I guess uh, we just gotta go deeper. peak the level now? <laughs> Is it going to stay there like that? Well, I've already explored most of it, I suppose. Oh no! I can see the whole level. I don't want that. Okay. I think... I'm at a good stopping point because when I reload the game, if and when I reload the game, uh, it'll have uh, reset the map. It won't remember what I've revealed yet. So I might uh, I might call it there, and if I continue uh, continue from this point, uh, I'm not sure if I'll keep playing this game. Uh, I will not be back next week, uh, but I'll probably be back streaming again in two weeks playing either this or something else we'll see kind of how i feel i like this game um it's surprisingly uh approachable uh i was expecting it to be a lot more brutal like i remember playing dungeon master 2 and the enemies do a lot of damage in that game and you can die super easily but it seems like at least the monsters and stuff are pretty uh pretty okay in this game uh i mean it's got the uh, the issues of any of these kind of first person dungeon crawlers where uh, oh, there goes the map. You really got to map things out to know where you are. And I had a few kind of cheesy, like, teleporter puzzles and whatever. But, uh... It's good. It's, uh, pretty simple. Really, it's nice and, uh... 
easy to, to keep track of things in combat. Like, you're pretty much just, you know, clicking your attacks, dodging around a little bit, maybe casting a spell. It's good. I don't... I have mixed feelings on the uh, these kinds of games, I guess. Maybe I've been spoiled because, like, the one that I played when I grew up was, like, Dungeon Master 2, which has kind of larger outdoor areas in between more dungeon-like areas. And, like, the dungeons are... Just having dungeons is kind of monotonous, I guess. This is all just, like, narrow hallways and, like, you know, uh, pressure plate puzzles and stuff. I kind of wish there was uh, more of a world to explore. But uh, maybe the later games are a little more like that. Probably not, though. I wouldn't expect. This game has two sequels, and uh, I assume it's basically more of the same, though I could look into it. I know that they did... Uh, it's not just the exact same game continued. They definitely added some things later on. With that, I think we'll call it there. Uh, thanks for watching. I stream most Sundays uh, around this time, so if you give me a follow, you can uh, see when I go live next time. But otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.